10 meters to east and 10 meters to north. Find his total displacement. So remember, uh, you you you, uh, you know the direction. So this is a convention: north, south, west, and east. Pause this video. Try your own and check the answer. Once you have your own answer. So it is a convention to use. This is north, this is south, this is west, and this is east. So we are not talking about west and south. So we're going to erase that. Okay? We are talking about band moving 10 meters to the east. So band moves 10 meters to the east. Okay, that's fine. And 10 meters to the north. So we're going to take this piece and put it over here. So take this and move it over here. So just take this as if this is as if you can move it so move it over here so if you move it over here then it's 10 meters it's a knot then you use it so you just move it over there you just take that and put it over here so ben moves 10 meters to the east and 10 meters to the north okay we have to find is total displacement so total displacement is the distance between, shortest distance between two points. I have one point over here, I have one point over here. So shortest distance between two points is obviously not that. Shortest distance between two points is not obviously that. There is only one shortest distance between these two points. And that is a diagonal line. Which can be accomplished by the Pythagorean theorem. So call it A, call it B, we have to find C. C is the displacement. So A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. A is 10 squared plus 10 squared equals to C squared. So 100 plus 100 equals to C squared. So C squared is 200. So C is the square root of 200. So C is 100 and the square root of 2. So the square root of 100 is 10. It's 10 the square root of 2. So it is a convention to write it like that. 10 the square root of 2 which is 14.14. So you can write C is 14.14 meter. But if you write this, uh, it'd be, uh, that would be also fine. So, this total displacement is 14.14. 14. Next pro. 